morning everyone a uh, quick one today is how to get black on brass um, how to get a nice deep black but also uh, what makes it better is you can barely feel it after it's been etched so uh, basically all to start with is I found my image which is on the left um, because it comes into Lightburn as a image, it needs to be traced. So it's as simple as just right clicking on the image and at the bottom of the list, you'll see trace image. Once it does its job, uh, click okay and you get what's on the right. So now we have what's on the right. There's a couple of bits that I need to remove um, because if they haven't been removed, it will engrave in the large box around the image that I want on the coin. So <clears throat> you'll see me just bring up my settings. These are my settings. I can't take any credit for these. I got them from Nicky Norton on Den of Lasers who brought up these sins. I have no idea where these sins came from, but they work and they will work really well. So yeah, give them a try. So yeah, these are the sins I'm going to be using today. Just a single pass, no cross hatch. So what I'm going to do now, I believe is I'm going to take my trace and I'm going to ungroup it so this will allow me to get rid of the box on the outside and also you see me get rid of the circle around this is this the part which will flip what gets engraved if this is there it will engrave the opposite to everything that I want to engrave so now I've got rid of that I can put my image into my template in the middle of the engraving square I would be able to resize this easily, but I was holding the camera, so I couldn't hold the control button. If you hold the control, when you do a resize, it will resize it down in the center rather than the bottom left. But as I was holding the camera, I couldn't do this. Um, so I had to use the numeric sizes and then remove it to the center. So now it's in the center. I'll just have a quick look on the uh, example screen see that it is engraving what I want uh, all the black is where it's going to engrave or the red is movements I wanted to try something a little different with this one um, usually I do uh, engrave all at once where it goes from one side of the coin to the other side of the coin just engraving everything so this time I wanted it to engrave each shape at once which looks so much cooler when it's sped up which you'll see in a second. This is my setup, nothing special. I've already lined up my coin. And just waiting for me to press start. Doesn't this look better? It looks so much better than going from one side to the other. And this is a very deep black on the coin. It barely blemishes the uh, surface, but it's very nice. And there you go. Thanks for watching.